Hello, my name is Gretchen, and I have been a happy swimmer here in Virgin Gorda for many years. I have also seen the changes brought about by the Hurricane Irma event in 2017 to many places here in our underwater world. I am also a professional photographer and I love to capture what I see here. Here is where I come annually on the island, Spring Bay. See the red square? You can see its location on this far northwest side of the island. In 2010, Lynn Brooks, here with her husband, handed me a small underwater camera she didn't know how to use and said she would be happy for me to put it to good use. That same day, I captured this huge barracuda investigating my presence. It's just checking me out. But from this moment on, I was hooked on photographing here. I invested in a good underwater camera housing and put my Sony inside. Now, this beautifully natural lit environment with all its boulders and coral was open to my visual exploration, along with all its fast moving inhabitants. I loved capturing and identifying the movement and color. Here in 2015, my snorkel buddy Chuck swims above the forest of beautiful staghorn hard corals, which were a hallmark of our bay and a home to much of the sea life. But today, here is the same scene under the waves. My dear Chuck has passed away, and Hurricane Irma, September 2017, did huge damage to the underwater environment, with tsunami wave destruction moving through the area from west to east. Both hard and soft corals, which were very abundant, were taken out. You can see the blackened coral bases have worked to sprout new growth. Next, I'm going to show you another before and after shot. In 2012, I stopped swimming to photograph this beautiful coral formation sitting on top of a large boulder. While I was shooting, I noticed a sudden dark movement at the base of the coral. In a flash, the octopus inhabitant zoomed up and perched on top, changing color and defending his territory from me. Here is the same coral outcropping, visited a few weeks ago. Now you can begin to realize the damage here. But everywhere in our bouldered area, new coral is growing. New heart corals of all varieties. Even some soft corals. See the small branching structures? And the fish which live around and within these structures are coming back. Here in Spring Bay, the presence of boulders help the fish population house and protect themselves. I went to swim in Savannah Bay, in the center of Virgin Gorda. See the blue square? It is recessed into its location by the surrounding geographic area. I looked forward to jumping in and seeing the underwater scene. And I was thrilled to see the vibrant, soft, and hard corals present without destruction. It was a pleasure to explore and record, showing off beautiful yellows like this soft coral fan, as well as perfect large brain coral. It was quickly evident that undisturbed, 
the corals were protecting crops of new young fish. Looking at the map again, I could see that Savannah Bay was recessed with protective land mass to its west. Two other snorkel stops during my stay showed me something very important. I took a day trip with Double D Charters to experience and have fun. Our first stop was Diamond Reef, just off the south shore of uninhabited Kamino Island. The underwater scene was totally intact with hard and soft corals. With lots of fish enjoying the undisturbed environment, my fellow snorkelers were also enjoying this abundant display as Kamino Island totally sheltered this reef on the storm northwest side. Our snorkel stop at Monkey Point coming back home was totally different. I had been here to photograph for many years before the storm and it always took my breath away with its stunning corals and fish. But today, there were only other swimmers to fill a vacant landscape. My camera quickly showed that the areas in the water below these large cliffs at Monkey Point had been scoured clean by the storm's repetitive wave actions as it faced northwest. On the way home, I digested this geographic map of underwater destruction and was grateful some reefs escaped because of their location. I want to dedicate this and my other film productions this year to my late husband and wonderful swimming companion, Chuck Yangst. Rest in peace, my dear Chuck. <laughs>